What's going on, Workforce? Brian here, and we have a lot to talk about. EA just announced that they're going to be taking out their loot boxes or their points to be able to purchase loot boxes, however that all just works, uh, from their uh, FIFA Ultimate Team, the whole FIFA franchise out in Belgium. Obviously, in different countries, the, the law has come down and said that loot boxes are gambling. That has been something that has just actually blown my mind to see this kind of passion and this kind of energy from gamers literally since really the fallout of Battlefront 2. Typically, you see, especially like online now, you get upset about something and then you just wait a week and then something else is going to come along and you're going to get upset about it and you totally forget about like, man, what was I upset about like three weeks ago? But this is, I think, where gaming culture and gamers in general have had such a tenacity and such a, I guess, animosity towards EA. I'm wondering if this spells the death of the loot box. And the reason I'm wondering that is because I honestly feel like that's happening. You look at games like Anthem, you look at games like Fortnite, you look at all these different games, even Call of Duty. Whether they're free, whether you're paying for them, at the end of the day, however it's progressing, it seems to be going away. The loot box has been responded to, obviously incredibly profitable. This is coming from the freemium and the mobile market and all that crap. But <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, we're seeing, obviously, where Fortnite is just set to kill at $2 billion this year alone off of a, a free game that has the Battle Pass, that Season Pass. And where you look at it from a cosmetics and non-progression you know progression related, that's, I think, where this is going. Now we also just recently saw, and I posted on it today, talking about Anthem's monetization model, asking if that is essentially uh, you know a fair price with considering it's not a freemium game or a free game. You pay and then you can buy these cosmetics, and it looks like very much like the Fortnite model. I would not be surprised to see some kind of related battle pass being introduced to these kind of games. And even with the new FIFA and with the games going forward, I think you're going to see less and less and less and less loot boxes and more and more of this model of you kind of have that fear of missing out, leaning into the, the moving, removing the gambling aspect and adding in another psychological component to get you to open up your wallets. Well, well, did we win? I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'd love to know. Your thoughts. Is this a victory? The, the, the fight is not yet done. In 2018 alone, we saw the fight for crossplay. And even during that fight, people were talking about we need to fight against loot boxes. Let's keep fighting. Let's keep fighting against that for these paid gambling things. We're seeing this in the real world. I, I don't know if you guys have seen, <laughs> have seen it. Uh, at least Jake Paul's been promoting a, uh, a loot box. I saw that from <laughs> Ethan uh, at E3, uh, E3, H3, H3 Productions. Watch one of his videos and I was just like, well, that's interesting and that we're we're seeing these kind of models uh, creep in. And I honestly think that this is going to obviously in the United States alone, take some kind of act of law <laughs> into account because this is where you're going to start to see countries with dif different laws. I think at the at the root of it, uh, EA sees the writing on the wall. They're looking at how they can share things up, how they can kind of set things right. Uh, not necessarily, I guess, in the mind of gamers, not necessarily in the idea that they could be redeemed or should be redeemed or if a company can be redeemed, but more or less just to say like, well, where is the market going? Where is the industry going? And believe me, they want a piece of that Fortnite money. And I'm going to venture to bet that they're going to bet that Anthem might be able to fill that in uh, as both a games as a service, as an ever progressing game, as a, as a premium game that has the polish and detail, but then offers the microtransactions that with the same fear of missing out kind of system that we've really seen in both Fortnite uh, and, and the whole thing. Uh, it all is going to come down to, to fairness. Like it's all going to come down to what feels like the right model for the games that we enjoy. It's all going to come down to many, many different factors. But you can venture to bet this is going to be very poorly on EA's stock uh, and their performance, at least, I guess, in the short term. In the long term, we're going to have to see how they decide to respond to these things, how they decide you know, to, to respond using their studios, and how this impacts their games. Are they going to lean in and really just, you know, I guess, try to get as much money out of a game like Anthem or out of their IP with the FIFA franchise? Um, I guess time will tell, but I, I just wanted to share this kind of little small update with you guys. I know I'm posting a lot today. It's going to be fun. <laughs> I just saw this news and I thought it was interesting and I'd love to know your thoughts. Is this the future of the industry? Are loot boxes officially dead? Sound off in the comments below. Let's have that conversation. I'd love to know your perspective. Anyway, for work to game my name is Brian. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll take, and I'll talk to you at some point, maybe today. I don't know. <laughs> See you guys. Hey guys, it's me, Brian. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're new here, we hope you hit that subscribe button. Check us out. We talk a lot about video games and we hope to at least hear from you in the comments below. We also try to 
respond to our comments. You know, we really appreciate the comments, the discussion, all the various points of view that everybody is so kindly, uh, I guess, and politely or impolitely shares with us from time to time. So anyway, guys, again, uh, thanks for watching this video. We hope you hit that like button. We hope you hit that subscribe button. Come back for more content each and every day. Uh, we post a lot around here and we'd love to hear from you about what you like about video games and everything. And uh, especially if you have any questions that you're stuck on in anything. So anyway, signing off. <laughs> See you next time.